Now that we have understood the dynamics, uh, we can continue with the code. We'll begin defining the parameters and we will be doing so using a concept called structures. It's, it is similar to a mat, uh, like a matrix, but um, uh, for example, the structure P has several fields. In this case, field G, field G, field L, field C, field M, and it will have some constants or vectors or, or even matrices uh, inside this um, this field G. This is this is quite nice because we can export all the parameters just by exporting the, the structure p so the, f the function uh, how it works is pretty simple you, you just put p as the as the structure then a dot then the field we want to put so for example gravity the length and in this case this is the viscous damping constant and this is the pendulum mass then we want to define the initial conditions of the vector uh, of the system would be it will be the initial um, angle with respect to the vertical of the system but this is in degrees so we have to put this in radians and we will define as well the angular velocity or the initial angular velocity we'll be storing this in the um, in the vector zero, zero which corresponds to the first two lines of the vector of the state vector zeta. We'll, uh, we'll be defining as well the time of the simulation. So we want to simulate from 0 to 10 seconds and we want to have a time step of 0 0.01. In this case we'll be having 1000 time steps and the, and the size of each time step is 0 0.01. Now, um, well, this is just for a, uh, having an estimate of the number of, ti of, of, of time steps. So it's the time span divided by the time step. And the time, which is a linear vector from the first, let's see, from the first element of the vector t span to the last vector to the last element of the vector and we will be doing this in a number of time steps of a given time steps now the state vector which is zeta is initially uh, a vector of zeros remember this vector are all the angles and all the angular velocities for every given time so it has in this case two rows and n steps number of columns in the first column so in all the rows and the first column we will be putting the initial conditions so the initial angle and the initial angular velocity now the simulation is quite simple it's just these four five lines will be mm, bring some elements in the vector state zeta and we will be doing so using the equations the Euler integration approach that I that I explained before we'll be calling a function called dynamics so we open the function dynamics here so dynamics will receive zeta which is the state vector at the previous time step and all the parameters so now we see how nice it is to have these all the parameters in one structure so first we unpack the state vector we have that zeta in the first row is the angle th and zeta in the second row is the um, angular velocity now we will, we will assume that this angular velocity is the derivative of the angle. 
and we will be putting this the, the second derivative of the angle or the, um, the angular acceleration that we just derived using mechanics and then we will return both the angular velocity and the angular acceleration as a result of dynamics so now we have here the two equations one for the angle and the other one for the angular velocity so dynamics will return the angular velocity for the first equation and the angular acceleration for the second equation finally we would like to plot each of these um, points we'll be doing so using um, very similar equations to the previous uh, steps this time for example calling only the angles so the first row for each time step the result is something like this so we got our little pendulum here running from 0 to 10 seconds which was the simulation we want to see Mm, we can do something more, for example, analyze how this angle moves in time and how the angular acceleration moves in time. So, we'll be doing this, which is pretty simple, with this. Mm, the additional things to look here are subplot. which are here and these two new plots this plot which would um, plot the angle versus the time and here we will plot the angular uh, the angular velocity with respect to sign so it's easier if I plot this first and see how it works so you can see here how this little circle this black circle runs in time and see how the angular the angle change in time it is damp it's a damped pendulum so it will stop in time so take some time analyze this subplot and this plot right here is not that difficult and then we will continue with the next tutorial which is the tutorial for the bar.